Hello and welcome to this first look on Flightsim Global. I'm Tom and today we will be taking a look at Aerosoft's A330 Professional for prepared version 4. The A330 first flew in November 1992 and has roughly 1500 built across multiple variants. It is primarily used as a long haul aircraft though some airlines also use it for short haul high capacity routes. Aerosoft's A330 features a single variant, the 300, and a single engine type for this variant, the Rolls-Royce engines. Considering this is the first first look video on this channel, the goal of our first looks is to give a general first impressions of the aircraft without being a definitive review of the aircraft since it hasn't necessarily reached a final state and the developers are still working on known bugs. A first look video could also be just because I don't have as much time as I would like to to fully explore an aircraft thoroughly. It also doesn't feature a deep dive or test of the systems, but rather how things seem on the surface. A good first look for a product may be a great aircraft for a casual simmer, but leave more hardcore simmers wanting more, or meet all of their expectations. It could go either way. This first look is based on version 1.0.0.7 of the aircraft. Starting in the cockpit, we are greeted with the standard Airbus cockpit layout. For those who frequently fly the A320 series, they should feel right at home here. The textures take advantage of prepared version 4's PBR capabilities, and the modeling is very nicely done. For those who use Aerosoft's A320 Professional family, they will see that most of the more eye candy features and animations have carried over. The new addition is the EFB, or Electronic Flight Bag. This tablet device lets you run through checklists, look at charts and other PDFs, performance calculations, weather, and even browse certain websites. By clicking the top of the tablet and turning on the green light, you can use your keyboard to type. For the most part, I try to avoid using the more sophisticated features of the EFB simply because it is still unstable and the developers are currently still working on it. Aerosoft's A320 Professional owners should also be familiar with the inclusion of the semi-intelligent co-pilot that can be turned on or off to help with systems or checklists and the implementation of True Glass by TFDI. Internally and externally, the sounds feel mostly the same to the A320 family, which makes sense considering the Airbus's standardization between cockpits. Some sounds appear higher quality and more polished, while others just seem about the same. The engine sounds, however, are unique, and I do enjoy hearing the sound of the spool up and them hitting that blue note slightly above idle. External modeling and texturing is just as nice as the internal modeling and texturing. The PBR makes the aircraft pleasing to look at from many angles and the quality of the animations are well executed, such as the nose gear. Unlike the A320 Professional family, the A330 Professional does have wing flex. I was disappointed to see that the passenger windows were not 3D or transparent, but instead just textures. It comes with 13 liveries with three different antenna and door options. Performance wise, the aircraft doesn't bring the frame rate down much at all. Places I would experience around 20 FPS in older versions of a particular 737, I would see closer to 30 or 40 in the A330. Systems and flight characteristics perform similar to what I would expect a large Airbus aircraft to perform like. I did not compare against real world values as there are still adjustments being made, but they seem believable as far as timings, power availability, and general handling. It is worth noting that Aerosoft is not targeting the hardcore study level crowd with this product and have only the systems a pilot would use on a day to day basis simulated. Unfortunately, it seems as though the aircraft did carry over an issue that I was not a fan of from the original A320 family. Occasionally, something with the simulator recalls the frame weight to drop below 18 for a fraction of a second, and the autopilot of the aircraft will freak out trying to compensate. It's almost like it's a positive feedback loop where the frame weight will drop momentarily, which will cause the fly-by-wire logic to take more processing time to compensate, which will then cause the frame rate to dip even lower, 
which will make Flat by Wire take even more processing power to calculate, rinse, and repeat. I've done extensive testing of this and tried many combinations of settings and programs being on or off and even did fresh installs of the sim with just the aircraft installed, but the result keeps coming back. My computer is well above the system requirements listed for both the A320 and A330, apart from the operating system, which in my case is Windows 7, but I've spoken to those who are using Windows 10 and they report the same results. The freakout could happen in cruise or over the ocean or climbing out from a complex area, or for some people, not ever. I know I definitely seem to be in the minority with this issue, but it's still one that's very troublesome for me and makes me not want to fly the aircraft as much as I would like. It is also an issue that I've been experiencing since the Airbus X extended for FSX, back when my computer did meet all system requirements, including operating system. My only other issue with the A330 is the price. Right now, the download version of the A330 is 58.78 euro, excluding the VAT tax, or 69.99 US. If the A330 followed in a similar product path as the A320 family, I would say the price makes sense. But Aerosoft have stated that this single variant and engine option are all that customers are going to get for the time being. Now, this may eventually change, but right now it seems to be a firm stance with the approaching Microsoft Flight Simulator and prepared version 5. Those who own the A320 Professional can get the A330 for €48.27 excluding that, or around $53 US. This is better, but still seems excessive for just a 300 series and only the Rolls-Royce engine option. Aerosoft's A330 Professional brings a long-missing aircraft type to the prepared platform. It's a good-looking and performing aircraft with some bugs that are still being worked on and with some users experiencing some rather jarring bugs. It is on the higher end of the cost spectrum, especially when you can get Aerosoft's entire A320 family line with multiple engine options per aircraft and the option for sharklets for less than 10 euros more. There are many things that the A330 Professional does well, but for now there are still a few things that make it less appealing.